Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. We're, you know, obviously we're happy. Um, it's been a long, uh, a long time coming, really, for for GRTA to uh, to finally get a um, um, a permanent. Uh, uh, service provider. And for Kloppenberg Enterprises Inc. Vice President and Director of Bus Operations Brad Kloppenberg, it's been more than a decade of waiting for this day to arrive. GRTA announced this week they awarded its long-term bus service contract to Kloppenberg Enterprises. While Kloppenberg has been operating on a month-to-month -month procurement since January 2004, this new contract will instead be for an initial three years with an option to extend twice for an additional one-year contract. The contract begins January 2nd, 2017. On our side, we'll be taking possession of the, um, of the equipment. Uh, we'll provide the drivers, the uh, management staff, the uh, paratransit schedulers and dispatchers. Kloppenberg says the equipment, fuel and contracting for maintenance will be handled by GRTA. He adds the 11 new buses and 12 new vans that have been sitting in the DPW parking lot for some time will finally be ready for service. Having new equipment, uh, it's going to Im improve the reliability. Uh, you'll have fewer uh, disruptions in service uh, for breakdowns or, or things of that nature. And speaking of improvements, the contract may finally help get the ball, or in this case, the wheels rolling, for new changes. And I think for them, the next step is, is looking at um, uh, expanding the service, you know, making it more available. Um, the, improve the efficiency and, and, and in order to do that um, you, know, you need additional routes um, you need to uh, um, you know also look at um, decreasing the wait times uh, between you know between buses so uh, they're actively looking at that so they, I mean this is the first step but it's 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 moving forward this award comes just as GRTA looks at increasing its bus fares for the first time in 36 years GRTA Executive Director Rick Augustine has stated a decision will be made early next year or when GRTA puts the new equipment to use. In the meantime, GRTA and Kloppenberg Enterprises are set to hold a post-award contract kickoff meeting later this month to ensure a smooth transition of equipment and information for a better transit service here on Guam. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.